Hi, it's Joy and today I'm going to watch Supergirl Season 5 Episode 4 In Plain Sight and unlike my Batwoman reaction I've made sure I press record this time. I'm enjoying this season of Supergirl so far. Um, Kara is everything. I'm intrigued about the jump plot. I'm enjoying his brother and where that's going to go. Um, my usual heads up, if you are still a fan of Lena Luthor and still supporting her, please don't watch my reaction. I'm, you're not going to, I don't love her anymore, you're not going to enjoy this reaction. And it's not fun to watch a reaction that you don't enjoy. I know some people seem to still be watching my reactions even after this disclaimer because I get comments being angry at me for not liking Lena, but you're not going to change my opinion. So yeah, let's go with this episode and see if maybe Lena can start to redeem herself. Maybe? You never know. I, I think at this point she's too far gone, but yeah, we'll see. Where are they? Or is that Jean pretending to be Kelly to try and draw him? Yeah, that's got to be Jean pretending to be Kelly, right? To draw his brother out? Oh no, this looks like actual Kelly because she's like trying to scan people for... What is that? Is this a dream? Are they communicating in a dream? Brother. Yeah, okay, it's Jean. I was right the first time. Do you know of her? Jean does mean that. That's why he brought me. <laughs> I'm getting a guess that was Neo and Brainy. Alex and Brainy. Good job, Clara. Did it work? Well, I mean, that was a really good attempt of a plan. She's getting flashes. Hey. They're connected. Yeah. Prison? <laughs> Looks like a small place. I, I don't know. Sean, you've got to tell them the truth. They're your family. They'll believe you. They've told you their darkest secrets. Wait, wait. Let's not rush into this. It's really hard because I agree that Malefic has had. Could have incepted one of us to use it on Jean. That's actually really, really true. Jean can't be involved in that fight. It's hard because I can understand Jean not wanting to hurt his brother, especially when he knows that there was a lot of hurt done to him that made him the way he is. Because I think the father made a lot of bad choices, but. He's too far gone at this stage. It doesn't matter how tragic your past is or the reason you turned evil is if you turn evil, you're evil. We should call in Lena for backup. Oh, Kara, you're too trusting. Mm -hmm. His thoughts with his own. Mind control. Using Q waves. Lena, you're so much better than this. Well, you used to be. No. I don't think they will. I'll have to use them. Because lying to your friends is terrible, but I do it all the time, like breathing. Malefic. Someone's in there. Not Malefic, though. Liam's not an assassin. You're funny if he was. <laughs> well, it's not gonna work the first time, is it? Just really sorry he's doing this. But you have nothing to be Look, Sean, I get that. I know that isn't your fault. you blame yourself for what happened to him at the end. But it wasn't your fault. He was already a lost cause at the time you did what you did. And I can't promise that. You can't. Elena Torres? Don't take this personally. <laughs> Who is this? Alex. They've got another meta assassin. Yes, ma'am. He got a line. His mum will be really proud. Oh dear. Clara, trust your instincts. I need your brother alive so I can experiment on him. Brainy is supposed to be like a super duper seventh level intellect. So why does he ever need any help for anyone on earth? What's the point of him if he does? Nina, four episodes in, and I'm getting bored of your evil villainy scheming. So, brother, how you doing? Jimmy, no, I was a Sold out, has he? It's keeping this town alive. Well, only some of it alive. Just the rich people deserve. alive. The body they pulled from the car had been dead for two weeks and died of natural causes. So, William so faked it. Oh, dear. I wanted to tell you. I was you should have told so me, because Alex I and Kara would actually understand. He was. Some bad guy that you created coming after you. Well, no, and again, because just I'm pretty it. sure that Malefic attacked the Martians before Jean wiped his mind. Consequences. That was a separate thing. He was already pretty evil because of the bad parenting and being locked in a room all his life. I know. You may He's say irredeemable at this stage. Malefic isn't the monster here. He is, though. You are. Alex would never really say this. She might be disappointed in Jean that he would do have done that in the first place, but. He didn't do it in a rational state of mind. Come on, John, think Alex yeah, through. She wouldn't okay, do that. Right. Is that what he's going to end up doing? Staying in this town and fixing it for everyone when he leaves? Why would you ostracize him? It was largely your father. You were a kid. From our minds. And you did that after he committed war crimes and your father was destroyed. It wasn't a good thing to do, but that was this. when you did it. Maybe it made him more evil, but he was evil to start with. You remember now. This is how Alex would have responded to. Clara is just everything. I love her so much. She's been with me. Thank you guys. You Alex. Took you long enough. As soon as she didn't react, 
normally. This guy's got so many lines. Oh, Alex. Oh, Jean, it's not on you to take on all this pain. God, oh, it's an Obsidian North. Obsidian North is getting everywhere. The real villain of the season. Please. Is that the gun? You didn't betray us. He did? We try to fix you. Change you. Yeah, what and they did was stupid and wrong. You. But he still did. I mean, when he made that choice and the things he did, now, no. he deserves prison. Yes. For us, brother. Your father treated him wrongly. You were a child who grew up trusting in everything your father did and idolizing your father, so you always believed that. <laughs> you had nothing but cruelty for me. No. From my family. I mean, Jean used to try and talk to you and try and be there for you, and he was doing everything he thought his father thought knew everything that was right. Where is that? A bomb? Oh dear. I'm a hybrid of Tamaranian and far away. Got not all left on it. Like <laughs> Kara got like all the guns and then got you and got like one. But that was helpful. We didn't have that one otherwise. Good job, Kara and John. And Lena's got what she wanted. By lying and scheming. Alifex back in the Phantom Zone. Nope. He's at Elcor. I'm sorry that you couldn't save him. He gave him every chance. It's about you. I guess because I was thinking them about himself. About myself. If he'd been in a rational state of mind, he'd have known it wasn't Alex. We couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> Please. Barely did anything. You actually what's, really could have done. The inhibitors and the projector. So what's the point of Brainy? Send him back. He's no use. If people from this time can do what he's doing, then a super friend. Oh, we have T-shirts. Cara, you deserve so much more and better than Lena. Cara, I'm so sorry she's breaking your friendship. Rest for the world saving genius. No rest for the wicked. You didn't need to change it. It was right the first time. Any remorse? See, the fact that she never feels remorse for everything she's doing and how she's lying and betraying everyone, that shows me that she's just gone off the deep end into evil territory. And I don't want her to be redeemed at this stage because I haven't seen any of the signs that she deserves it yet. I'm not going anywhere. Just listen to Nia and don't freak out. That's where I need to be. It's very inspirational. But there are lots of other towns that will also need your help. You can't stop me from publishing one. That's amazing. It'd be nice to have that much money, wouldn't it? To just do whatever you wanted, because you could afford to. And you. She doesn't need that anymore. Can't rely on me. It's a very honourable mission, James. I wish you all success. I imagine how you back for crisis. My feelings are springing out, and I can't <laughs> find a little. James. James. It's not very far away. You can visit a lot. No. Cara, especially. Investigating her. How do I know you're not just spinning this to get me off the scent of what you're Because it's probably in your love interest. Right. How about what I've really been up to? Clara can relate. I think that's gonna happen. I don't blame you. I mean, his uh, secret identity was cruel and horrible, unlike Kara's. You'll let this go. She's gonna help you. Never forgive myself. You're you are underestimating Kara. It's Jimmy. In the it's villain headquarters. I know you've realized you can't face through these walls. We can help each other. How is anyone still supporting Lena? One of my actual biggest concerns this season so far is that they're going to redeem Lena at some point. They're going to have her turn up. But every episode she just gets further and further into villain territory that I honestly think I would have to stop watching because I would find it unbelievable if she were to be redeemed. I mean, she can just realise she's making mistakes. She can work to try and fix the mistakes she's made. She can work to try and be a better person. But I mean, if Cara and everyone fully accepted her back and treated her the same way that she was, the things she's done are unforgivable. I mean, what she did to Eve is still unforgivable. And then now, I mean, she's heard them talking about Jean's brother. She knows what a dangerous person he is. And okay, sure, he had terrible things happening to him when he was younger, but that doesn't excuse the things he did later. That doesn't excuse the things he's still doing now. You know, it wasn't even like he was just going after Jean who hurt him. He was going after Jean by hurting everyone around him. Like, he's a bad person. And Lena is just what, I was just, <sighs> I mean, if you if you want to leave a rude comment telling me that I'm a terrible person for disliking Lena, go for it. It doesn't bother me. But I, I can't understand how anyone can still be supporting her other than 
fancying Katie McGraw or really liking her. Whereas, you know, I've watched shows before and I, I often love a villain in a show. You can really enjoy a villain because you love the actor that's playing them and you do not have, I've even jokingly rooted for the villain to succeed, even though deep down I wasn't really because it was the villain. But I, I don't understand people that claim the villain is still good and still in the right. Like, I, I honestly think that I worry about those people and what lessons they might be learning and what they might take into their real lives and people in their real lives. Um, but yeah, Lena, ugh, she can, I just, I really need this to be her last season in the show because she's bothering me by being so evil and just so fake and vicious and vindictive and so undeserved. And you know, Kara struggling with William, obviously Kara's going to completely um, forgive him and I know they'll be dating by the mid-season finale, but um, for Kara, William, when he was being his secret identity to hide everything, his secret identity was cruel and it was hurtful and he was hurting people, whereas Kara's secret identity has never hurt Lena. She had disagreements with Supergirl, but that became from, you know, ideological differences. It wasn't Kara and Supergirl weren't intentionally hurting Lena. So I can see why Kara struggles with William, but I think obviously she's going to come around to him because she kind of can relate to the, the principle of having a fake life um, or a fake persona to try and hide behind to an extent and kind of keeping secrets and the burden that has him, she's obviously going to help him. And I mean, he's saying all the things that he's, and like, if they'd just ended Kara and Monel properly, I probably would be behind this ship. You know, I'm not petty. I'm not going to, you know, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is one of my all time favourite shows. And spoiler alert, just if you have not seen all of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., click off. Um, in season three, they killed off half of my OGP, my favourite couple, my favourite character's boyfriend. They killed him off. And I was devastated. I cried for hours. I was also suffering a personal loss at the time as well. It was not a good time. And then when the next season rolled around, I struggled. I was sad. I didn't really enjoy it. But I did, I mean, I didn't not enjoy it, but it just made me, I felt really sad. But I still loved the show. And now we're seasons later and the show is everything to me. Because they handled it well, that character that died has never been forgotten. He still gets brought up, even in the most recent season. Whereas Monel, we had that episode 21 of season three where it was like they were definitely going to get back together. You know, I spent most of season three being like prepared for it to end with them not being together, kind of just enjoying that they were having some more interactions and thinking, oh, I can read all the fan fiction so we will fix it and put them together. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? And then season three, episode 21 happened and they nearly kissed. And then in the next episode, she was telling her mum how much she loved him and how great they were and her mum was supporting them. And then in the finale, out of nowhere, when I was like, oh, so yeah, it's cool to see you again. And Carl's like, oh, yeah, see, cool, bye. Like, there was no emotion, there was nothing. And he's never mentioned since. Like, that in itself, to me, was so insulting. And that had been such baiting up until that point that it really hurt me and upset me. And I actually was thinking a lot this episode how much I missed Monel and how much his character brought a light to the show and like their relationship, how good that would be. And I don't know that I'm here for Kara falling in love with someone else, not out of weird spite, you know. Like I said, if Monel and Kara had been ended properly, I would be thinking, oh, you know, yeah, it's been a, it's been a decent like it's been a decent amount of time. They aren't erasing Monel because you know she's had a year to move on and get over him. But at the same time, now I'm like, but you you screwed us over that time. So do I want to invest in this relationship now and get screwed over again down the line when you? change your minds again because the Supercop fans will hate William I'm sure and then they'll launch a hate campaign against him he'll stop going on social media if he does already and then like I don't I just I don't know that I'm here for that and I'm gonna try not to rant about this every episode but it's something that I feel very strongly about and people that know me in real life know that I still talk about it quite a lot because I think the way Monel's character was treated and the way the fans of his character which was most people to watch the show let's face it was unforgivable and it was rude and their claims that they'd had that plan for two years well then they executed it very poorly by baiting us and then dropping us you know um that's very different to the baiting that people think happens with Supercorp when they say you know all anyone's ever said since Lena was on the show was that she was going to be Carla's friend that's what the actors have said the directors the showrunners the writers have all said they're friends so it's not baiting when everyone says they're friends but oh, I don't know I don't want to get into all of that I'm probably going to get hateful comments below but that's fine I'm used to it um it's hard being one of the only pro now reactors on YouTube so yeah I mean that's really colouring my perception a little bit in this series so far is that Lena I, I mean I'm kind of to the point in the writers I was sort of enjoying Lena teaching in the dark side and I was always rooting for her to stay good and then now she's just jumped into the deep waters of the dark side and William as a character is probably quite interesting, but I'm really not here for another romance for Kara. I mean, she deserves it. My God, does she deserve it. But just after the way they treated us before, I don't know, maybe in three episodes time, I'll be crying happy tears if they get together or whatever, and this will all be a bad memory, but I'm not feeling it. 
at the moment. I could feel like during that scene, little flickers of, oh, I could ship this. And then my brain was like, it'll just cause you pain. And I am not, haven't forgiven them for before. Kara is still inspirational and everything. Like every time anyone is having trouble, Kara is just there for them and she knows exactly what to say. She's so caring and kind and I love her. I hope Nia and Brony can fix their relationship. Although Brainy, you know, I need him to kind of move past a little bit of this kind of over the top, not understanding stuff because he's been around humans for forever and he's been around our timeline of humans for forever. So yeah, it's time for that. And oh, I mean, he needs to be able to like, if he designs tech, he needs to just work because he's a super intellect. There's no way he should need anyone from our timeline's help from Win to Lena. If he genuinely does, then he's lying about his intellect and he should go back home. So yeah, I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling, I'm in a quite a weird mood today. I actually felt quite sad throughout a lot of this episode because it just really hit me how much I was missing one out. Like, this happens sporadically. I'll just be hit by waves of how much better the show would be. In my, for me, I'm fully aware, it's just my opinion, if we still have one out in it. So yeah, I'm actually feeling quite sad now, but Clara does always cheer me up. So maybe when I edit, seeing her again will make me happy. So yeah, this was a good episode. Thank you for watching.